Hey guys, Mr. Gaming here, and someone requested that I do a tutorial on the piston up and down elevator that I showed a brief overview on, and I decided that I'm going to do that. And I'm trying to figure out the best way to really explain this, and I think I have the best way down, and I'm going to be using some sort of color coded stuff, I guess you can say. So, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to set out a little area like this with a couple of um, blocks this way. Then you want to have the other side like this with a space. And once you do that, this can just come up. And what you're going to do here is place the other blocks. So you're just creating a little area like this. So that's what you're going to start out with. Now, I originally, I originally said this was a five block up and down elevator. It's actually a six block. And what you're going to do is you're going to lay down, to start, you're going to lay down six pistons facing up. So one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And that's about, you have to have the same height, but it's actually going to need to be ten blocks high. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It needs to be ten blocks high. And I'm going to go ahead and raise this up. Okay, now once you do that, you have to start the actual redstone. And the basic idea is that you're going to have wires uh, going into the blocks behind the piston and not the actual piston itself. So to start out, we need to put a wire here. This is the block behind the very first piston, and the current's going to go through the block into the piston. Now I also color-coded this uh, this set green because these are the blocks that the actual current is going to be going into. And what you need to do is you need to have a torch that's going to always be off on this block. And in order to do that, you have to actually invert it. So to do that, what you're going to have to do is make a little inverter over here. And an inverter basically means um, when you a current's going to be always on, and then when you hit a button, the current's going to go off, or you're going to hit a switch or something, it's going to go off instead of on, as the name would imply. So to make that, you just make a block, have a redstone current coming out of one side, a redstone torch on the other, and then a current coming out of that. And lead this block into the inverter here, which is actually what it actually is. That's an inverter itself, and that caused that to go, but that's doesn't really matter right now. So as you can see, this torch is now off. And when we hit when we send a current to this side of the inverter, it's going to make that piston extend and when we turn it off, it retracts. Now, what we need to do is we need to make this extend all six pistons in order from bottom to top. And what happens is that each time we extend a piston, the block that we need to extend moves up one. So you might have thought that we need to put a current to this block now, but no, we need to put a current to this block. So to do that, what we need to do is put a block on the second one, two blocks like that, and then put a uh, wire right there. And this wire is going to go into that block, which is going to be behind the second piston once that's risen. And now, again, we're just going to do the same thing and have a thing like that. And what we actually need to do right here is put another torch because what's going to happen is we want this current to be going um, inverted every time here. So to do that, we need to reverse the current each time it goes up a block again. Otherwise, it's going to be... Um, Otherwise, this is going to be on. We need to turn that off. And to do that, we use a torch here. To explain it better, once we turn this current off, this torch is going to go on. And because this torch is, torch is on, it's going to turn this one off. And because this is off, this can now be on, so if that makes any sense whatsoever. So now we're just going to repeat this for all six of the pistons. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. That is one, two. Actually, yeah, that seems right. This needs to be one higher. Okay, now we can go ahead and just build this up. Okay. 
And now once we've done that, we have to re go ahead and reset these pistons. Okay, we resetted those pistons, and now if we test this, this should work, but there's going to be a problem. After a few um, pistons, like after a certain number, the pistons start getting a little uh, weird when it comes to extending. So what we have to do is delay the last three, each by one tick more than the last. So it's going to be one tick delay, two tick, and then three tick. So I guess in theory we could add another one, another piston, and have it set to three tick delay. So now let's go ahead and test this. And there we go. The pistons are all extended, and then this should retract them all too. Now we have to do we have to work on the top, but before we do that, we actually have to set up what's going to happen as far as the elevator itself goes. So we need to have a block after the last piston. As well as that, we need to have three trapdoors. Okay, and so what we're going to do is going to have one, two, three, and these two are going to be open. And this is actually going to be the elevator itself. This is what we're going to be walking into. Okay, now what we need to do now is add six pistons that are going to be bringing us down. So you, again, you need to have the block here. And, I mean, not there. What am I doing? Right here. And then you're going to have to have six pistons. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. Start from the top. One, two. Okay, so now this should work as it is right now. Um, I mean, like, the number of pistons. Now we actually have to wire this up. Okay, guys, so I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, and this actually wasn't fully up all the way when I started the top layer. So I'm going to have to set the restart what you're supposed to be doing here. Okay, guys, so what you're going to be doing for the top row, again, I'm sorry that I, I messed up. It was just a little mistake that I made, is that you're going to have to, again, put a current into this green block here to extend this piston. But instead of doing it from this side, we're doing it from the left side over here. So we have to run a wire into it. And then we're going to have one more here. I'm also just going to run this here so we can activate it once we're ready. Put a button. And then we need to start sending the signal down. And to do that, we're going to put a torch here. And after we put the torch here, we need to put a block right here, which is one below, one to the right of that torch, and put a redstone current on top of that and a redstone torch there. So what's going to happen is that after we hit this button over here, this torch is going to turn off. This is then this redstone wire is going to turn off and then this torch is going to go on. Then what we need to do is we need to have a current coming from that torch. So now it's going to be on. It's going to send a current here which is going to extend the second piston because right here is where the second piston is going to be. So now we just have to repeat this over and over for all six of them. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now we're just going to put this down. And then add the redstone here. And we'll go ahead and test this out. And that is fully functional. Although I'm not sure why these keep going down. Do -do -do. Went up. And so now we're going to test it to go down. And it went down. Okay, okay guys. I, I again forgot to add something. You have to have the uh, repeaters here too. Which I neglected to put. <laughs> because I just forgot. So three, so it's one tick, two ticks, and three ticks. So now let's just go ahead and give this a shot. Now make sure this is working all the way. Okay guys, one final mistake, and this is a little funny, is that I forgot to add the last thing here. Again, I'm not really good at making tutorials, and I tend to make a lot of mistakes. It's not my... I'm not, nobody's really perfect with, with these things, but, okay, now, for the last time, it's gonna be fully working, 
as you can see all these are now unextended and now when you hit this all of them are going to extend and all these are flat now see all I did was I forgot to put the repeaters first off and I forgot to put this last block here so now as I was getting to before is we have to actually bring the buttons to the floors that you want them to be at and to do that we need to send a current down for when we want to go up and we need to send a current up for when we want to go down so what we're going to do is we need to have more or less a series of inverters and what we're going to do is we're going to have the button is right here on this box we're going to have a torch here and we're going to bring the current um, out from the torch and send it down we're going to send it down, let me just check this for reference, yes going to send it down using these torches here. So sort of like we just did over there, but now we're doing it this way. Okay, so now the problem over here is that we have the torches in an on position, which we don't want for this inverter so we can actually now get rid of this inverter since that's in an on on state we don't need to worry about that and go in and connect this which will now do that and if we hit this button these will now extend so that's how you do that you just basically need to do this um, a series of inverters and what ha what happens is if you get um, here and this torch is deactivated you just wire that up to the inverter that we had over here you don't need to get rid of that so now we're actually gonna have to send the current up which isn't which is which I thought was harder at first but you actually it's actually not that hard once you know how to do it so again just put a button down here and we're going to send a, set, set a torch here to invert the uh, current and we need to send the current up. And the weird thing about sending currents up is that we need to have a block like this with a torch on top of it. And we want that torch to be deactivated. And we can't just have a wire going in like that. We need to have a direct wire or a repeater. So we have to bring this around like that. And then we can just do this all the way up. And now that's going to be a deactivated torch. And what we actually need to do now is do a little uh, two by three th sort of thing and have a repeater um, right here and right here and wire this whole little clock up. And the reason you need to do this is because if you don't and you just put the, the uh, redstone right into the wire over there, what will happen is not all the pistons will extend because the pulse is very short with a redstone torch and just pulse is random so what these repeaters do is they regulate the current and so now if we are on the top row right here let's just make sure this works it works fine then we can go back up and that seems to be working so that's all I need to do for this uh, elevator up and down elevator it looks it looks intimidating at first I will admit but it's honestly not that bad once you know what you what, once you know what you're doing and again, that little idiotic mistake over here is, was driving me insane, wondering why it, was, why it wasn't working. But you know, I hope just hope you don't make that same little mistake as me. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. So now, and then I I can answer them. And as, as you can see now, I have three elevators side by side. I don't really know what I'm going to do with that, but. Anyway, this is Mutata Gamer, and thank you for watching. If you have any questions, again, feel free to post them in the comments, and I will try.